Get in, loser. We're, We're going, going to, to Colorado. Colorado. Adventure time. Woo yeah. I don't want to slow down. I don't want to slow down. I don't want to slow down till I burn out. Hey guys, it's Felicia here and welcome back to my channel. So we are in Colorado. It's our first full day here. We got here last night. We are finally here in our Airbnb. And then we have a little balcony outside, but this is what the view looks like from the room. You know what, I'll go ahead and open it. I'll suffer just so you guys can see. So, it's pretty cool. This is the view from the room. And to our right is the kitchen. So we have a full kitchen, which is great. We bought some water and some snacks and stuff. We have this little like living room area with a fireplace, which we have turned on right now. And then this vent in the floor that's not actually blowing hot air, so we don't I don't know why. And then this is another porch back not porch, my bad, balcony. And this is the view from the porch. Um, and then another bedroom with bunk beds. Oh, this is another porch. I keep saying porch, my bad, another balcony. That's cute, so every room has their own balcony. This is just like um, where the water heater is. This is where we're staying, Winter Park. This is our current elevation. I sound really out of breath. I have not had the easiest time here today, okay? I've been out of breath, dizzy, oh I have a headache. So it's Janser. I just, I just not have, have not had the best time, but you know, we're here and I didn't come here to lay down. So we're gonna push through and we're gonna go back outside. So I'll see you guys outside. Good morning, guys. Good evening, guys. No, actually, it's the same day. Um, so Jancer and I are finally getting dressed and getting up and getting ready. And we, what? We are going okay. snow tubing. So it's six o'clock right now and it's 14 degrees outside. Which means it's seven o'clock in Miami. Yeah, no, it's eight o'clock in Miami. Oh, yeah. We're two hours ahead. And we're just putting the last of our clothes on. We got our bibs, giving very much um, lumberjackish. It's adventure time. <laughs> Slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could have done more than I did not. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah. Going down that mountain super super fast and it's cold. That was a lot of fun, but I'm gonna do it again. Please just sit in this one out just catch your breath. You get some good video? Oh yeah, I got some good video. It's, it's really fun man, I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot of fun. It takes us up the lift. I just feel my butt gliding against the snow right now. It's that little cable there, if you can't see it. It takes up the wire and I'm just sitting on the tube going up with it. And then when we get to the top, the lift that it's attached to comes off and then we just kind of like glide off and it's a little slippery there. It's like dry ice almost, that's what it feels like. So you'll see right now as I get up there. Hopefully when Felicia edits this, she'll just speed through this part. It's, I have about like another 40 seconds until I get up there. That's the mountain from this side over here. You can see. And then we go down all that right there. Oh, oh God. Oh, there it goes. It is slippery right here. Get up. Stinky.
Alright. Oh, that wasn't fun, babe. Together, right? Your fingers. <laughs> you know why? So listen, Miami. You gotta have these. I found them on Whenever Amazon. you go outside. Oh, yeah, the hand warmers. They them here? We do have some there, yeah. Uh -huh. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Once again, going back up the lift. Oh man, this is a lot of fun. To catch up to my beloved. <laughs> beloved, wait for me, beloved. Wait for me, my beloved. Anyway, take the GoPro, take your dinghy. Let's go buy some hand warmers. Okay guys, so we are back in the Airbnb. We just had dinner and everything, and I just wanted to put y'all on, like give y'all game because we learned some things today. So snow tubing was a lot of fun, but I was only able to go down that hill like three or four times. Jancer had the time of his life. He went down so many times, but it's not even that I was scared, because I was scared. Um, I got over that fear pretty quickly, but I could not feel my fingers and my toes. I ain't trying to lose no toes, y'all. I could not feel my feet. I was so miserable. So the guy who um, was working the lift that you saw me and Jancer go up, and he told us, he was like, hand warmers. He was like, that's the only way, hand and toe warmers are the only way you guys are gonna survive up here. Um, so if you ever come here or anywhere cold, you know how to get them too, and they do sell them on Amazon. I should have gotten them, I don't know why. I, I, did, I wasn't prepared, I didn't realize it was gonna be this cold. What? Um, chow, anyway, so. Hand warmers are called hot hands. And, oh, hold on, I have one open. This is what they look like when they're open. So it's like, I don't know what it is inside, but how you get it to activate, you have to just like play around with it. And it'll start heating up, but it doesn't get truly hot until about 30, 45 minutes. And then we also got toe warmers. And then we ended up buying the hand warmers. We bought these from the snow tubing place. They were like $3 a pack. But she told us when we were leaving, she was like, oh, you know, they sell them at every single gas station, um, Aces Hardware. So we stopped at a gas station on our way and we picked up a bunch, like guys, literally so many. We got so many. Um, I can't even hold them all in one hand. Like the, we got so, so many. Um, we got them from the gas station and we ended up paying like $21 after taxes. So I just wanted to put y'all onto that. And then also, yesterday I was not feeling good at all. And even parts of today, I was like, the altitude was really hitting me. It was so bad. So when Jason and I went to the grocery store, he found this. It's just a pill. Now these things are huge. An altitude adjustment pill. And they recommend that you take um, two. But Ginger and I took one today and then we'll take two tomorrow before we go on the, 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 to the ski slopes. But I'll let you guys know if that truly does work. Um, but yeah, enough rambling. I'm gonna go to sleep and I will see y'all tomorrow on the slopes. So we are in Breckenridge. The village. And um, we are skiing today. It's snowing a lot. And that's today's weather forecast. Um, so I will get to you guys when we actually get there. I just wanted to say good morning and let you guys know what we're doing today. Girl, you're so hot like summer. I 
follow me if you like me a dancer. So you had to turn both feet. If you didn't turn both feet, the ski was almost going to cross over. Huh? Right, and that's good. Slowly. Now turn that left foot. Turn, turn, turn. Good. Good. That's good because they can't cross over like you said. That last one there, there, dancer. We'll forget about that one. Your first move is to use your hips and shoulders. I would prefer to see you have a little bit of patience and really think about twisting your feet there. Alrighty, so that'll be our focus there. Got so it. Let's try one down towards Diana here. Alicia, you warm, you feel good? You warm, you feel good? Once you get moving, you just hold them out in front of you. They're not as strong to fall back on. There you go. You really twist that little foot there, there Felicia. Now if you're right-handed, you might find this side a little tougher. was a lot of fun um, at first I was nervous but it was fun um, we're in the car well I'm in the car now James is scraping the car and we're about to head back but all in all I did have a good time would I do it again I'm not 100% sure um, but our lesson was um, maybe like two and a half hours or something like that three hours our lesson was three two 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 hours right our lesson was two hours and um we really did enjoy ourselves what about you right i had a blast if you i really do think like it's one of those things you have to do at least once um but yeah skiing was a lot of fun i will give it that i don't know if i'll do it again but it was a lot of fun so adventure time over over now an hour and 53 minute drive home what <laughs> why Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, well, here we are. All right, guys, so we are back home now. It is um, late. Let me see the time, actually. I don't know what time it is. Okay, it's 9 o'clock, and I just wanted to give you guys a couple of, like, updates and tips and stuff or I wind down for the night. So Jancer and I did do ski lessons. Um, it was a two and a half hour lesson that we paid for. It was like 200 something dollars. I don't remember the exact price. It was expensive because it was two, two something per person. Um, but it was it was absolutely worth it and I feel like if you were going to make the trip to um, ski anywhere that you go definitely invest in some lessons so we took beginner lessons which taught us like the super basics things that are super important that i personally wouldn't have been comfortable learning like on my own so i just strongly recommend like if you are going to um like your first time skiing ever don't even know how to put skis on definitely get lessons they're pricey but they're worth it and you've already made the investment in coming to such an expensive place because ski towns are expensive so by the time we got three other 10 30 we left our place at 8 20 we got there at 10 30 um and our lesson started at one we waited in line for our rentals from 11 to 12 for about an hour and a half an hour about an hour i would say um we ate really quickly and then we just had our lesson and then we left right after it took us 
three hours to get back from Breckenridge to Winter Park. The traffic was so bad. The roads were icy. The snow is horrible. The wind chill, the, the wind right now is like 23 miles per hour. It's really bad. So it took us three hours to get back on what was supposed to be an hour and a half drive. I wanted to update you guys on the hot hands and the toe warmers. So the toe warmers, um, let me pull y'all back a little bit. So the toe warmers, I've got them. I'm trying to show y'all. I've got them on like ugh, the bottom of my sock. Those worked really well. My feet were not cold. The hand warmers, um, my fingers were cold. Because of the, the type of gloves that I had, my gloves are too big for my hands. My hands are small and I was having trouble finding small gloves. But um, the hand warmers kept my palms, hand, uh, my palms warm. And whenever we had a little break, I would do this because my thumb and this finger were the two that were really like getting really, really cold. But the toe warmers definitely get those if you guys are coming anywhere cold. The bib, y'all, so let me, I'm trying to show y'all like everything I got. This bib, I hope you guys can see me. I'm like really far away, but I want you guys to be able to see. Let me just put the tripod over, maybe that'll be better. Okay, perfect. So what I have on is called a snow bib. And it's, um, I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys get this. My friend put me onto this and I'm so grateful I asked her because I was like struggling on what I should get for this trip. And then I asked her and she was like, get a snow bib, I highly recommend it. Guys, when I tell you I'm so warm, all I have on is my base layer and then the bibs. I put my ski jacket on over this. I'm trying to show y'all the whole look. I want to show you guys now because I don't know if I'm gonna be putting this on again. Just before I take everything off. And that was it. So this plus my gloves and my snow boots was everything I needed. We also had neck warmers. Highly recommend that as well um, because when we went snow tubing, um, I was wearing a regular disposable mask. It got so wet because of the snow and the wind. My nose was cold, so I had a disposable mask on, and then I put my neck warmer um, over it. Definitely recommend that. We got all of this stuff off of Amazon, guys. We also got our goggles off of Amazon. Um, my goggles didn't fog up, but Jancer's fogged up, um, and he didn't even wear his on the, the slopes. He couldn't because it just fogged up so much. So we got all of this stuff off of Amazon, but I'm telling y'all, the ski bib, the snow bib, invest in one. Me and Jancer both have one, and Warm. amazing. We are so, and they're insulated also. I forgot to tell you that, they're insulated. I shouldn't be promoting Amazon so much because they don't pay their workers, but I'm just letting you guys know what I got and where I got it from. I'm not the best skier, but let me tell you guys something. I went from a level zero to a level three by the end of today. <laughs> Because if you go through an instructor, they tell you where you're at by the end of the, the lesson. If they feel like, you know, you still need more beginner practice or if you've moved up a little bit. So level three is still a novice level, but it's not a level zero and it's not a level one or two. So good morning, guys. So today is what? 311? Good afternoon, guys. Oh. <laughs> So today is Saturday and we are about to go ice skating. It's snowing pretty hard, so we're about to see because um so the ice skating rink is was is 40 minutes away from us. At least the one we're we're going to because they had one in Winter Park, but it was like a bring your own ski. It was bring a bring your own, your own ice skates and um it was on a pond. Um we don't have our own ice skates. So we found one that has ice skate rentals, um, and it's free. It was 40 minutes from us. So we're here, but the thing is, is, it's snowing so hard outside and it's so windy. I don't know how we'll be able to do this, but we'll see because we drove all the way up here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and let me get dressed and let's get this show on the road. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, and we're back. So we didn't go ice skating. It's snowing way too much for us to go ice skating, number one. Number two, we couldn't even find the place. Um, they gave us the address and the address was actually a restaurant. So when we get there, we ask people at the restaurant. They point us to, the other, to some other place. We go to the other place, like which was right across the street. And they point us back to the address of the restaurant. We tried calling um, the number again. It said they closed at three, which was annoying because we got there at what, 312? And the lady on the phone when we called in the morning made no mention of the fact 
that the, the ice skating place closed at three. Yeah. Um, but it's fine. So we ended up eating at the Caribbean restaurant. Um, I'm not even gonna tag the name. It was just, don't even waste your time. It wasn't that good. We started out with what we thought were complimentary chips and salsa. They were not complimentary. The guy just brought them. The guy just brought them and I was like, oh, was it free? Just because I don't know, he just brought them. They were actually $4. Um, then Janser got, oh no, we got uh, appetizer, jerk chicken wings. Those were all right. Um, I've had better, but they were all right. Um, Janser got a mahi mahi sandwich, a black and mahi mahi sandwich. I got the coconut rum chicken. The reason we even ate at this restaurant, y'all, was because they had fried whole snapper. <coughs> That's what I really wanted. And I know I should have asked them first, but I was just like, no, it's on the menu. Let me just, let's sit down, we'll eat, we'll enjoy it. Um, they didn't have the fried snapper, and at that point, we were already there. So I was like, let me just get something to eat. I got the coconut rum chicken. The rice was disgusting. It was too mushy. The chicken was okay. Um, Janser said his burger. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. And they were playing like whitewashed reggae versions of sub. Not even whitewashed. They were playing regular songs like with a reggae, reggae beat, but the, it wasn't the regular old white people that was singing it. So they were playing like "Shape of You" by Ed Sheeran, but somebody else was singing it with the a shape reggae, of you. I love it. The shape with of a you. reggae beat behind it, like stuff like that. And I'm just like, dang, this is this is odd. All right, guys. I'll catch y'all later. Maybe I'll show y'all some scenery on the way back down. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's a lake right there. guys um it's sunday it's our last full day here in colorado and we're actually on our way to go snowmobiling right yeah yes, snowmobiling so it's actually a beautiful day outside it's 30 degrees which is the hottest it's been since we've got here um it's a little bit windy but it's nice it's not snowing which is great because uh, whatever that just messes up everything Honestly, Janser and I both have our own snowmobiles, but I high key don't even feel like driving. <laughs> what? I don't. We'll see what happens when we get there because uh, to drive for two whole hours, it's a lot of work. You haven't driven out once this whole trip. I don't want to hear it. Exactly. And I, I, you knew that and, before we got that, here. I, he knew that before we got here that I wasn't going to drive. To drive in snow, me? Show the, no. show the road so they know what it looks like. Okay. So. This is what the roads look like, just covered in snow. On a good day. Yeah, on a good day where it's not snowing, but it's covered in snow and stuff like that. They already came and um, cleared out the road. You can count as you can see, I hope. And uh, a fact for all, if coming to either Colorado or any other state that has a lot of snow like this and you're going to be driving, the rental car you need to get has to be an all-wheel drive car. It has to be. Because if you're driving on the highway and the roads are icy and stuff, it's just it's not suitable for someone in a low in a low riding sedan. Mm -hmm. For example, the, the four, this four x four has a snow setting that you can just turn it on, and whatever the car does during the snow setting, it happens. So, but it's good to have, and it's it's a ne necessary that most people said even at the airport mm -hmm. you need an all-wheel drive car mm -hmm. in situations like this with this type of weather. So, hey. all right, guys, um, we're gonna head over to where we're doing our snow tubing, snowmobiling at, and we're gonna try and get some footage on the GoPro, um, just so you guys can see what we see, and I'll see y'all there, cause it's adventure time. Ooh. Adventure time. Ooh. <laughs> Even if I'm falling down, 
I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. Hey guys, so we just got back from snowmobiling. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever done. So originally, Jancer and I were both supposed to have our own separate snowmobiles and we were going to um, ride separately. <sighs> yeah, I changed my mind at the last minute. Um, we signed all the paperwork and the instructor was just going over things with us and he started explaining the terrain. Yeah, I thought we were just, I, I don't know what I thought to be honest. I thought it was gonna be like simple, like a straight line or whatever. I'm not straight line, flat terrain or whatever. He started explaining the terrain. We were going up into the mountain, through the trees, all of that. You guys saw it all. So the very last minute, I was just like, hey, is it okay if I just ride on the back of his? And he was like, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Um, so for two people, it cost about $365, I believe it was. If you like that kind of adventure stuff, then you would really enjoy it. Jancer, once he got the hang of it, he had the time of his life driving this stuff. Me, I tried to record as much as possible on the GoPro, but when I tell you, I had a death grip. Like, my fingers were numb from how tightly I was holding on to the handles um, next to me. Whew, so, mm, I, I, I can confidently say I won't be doing that ever again. Now, the way the lady described it to me when I asked her, I was like, is it hard? She's like, have you ever rid rode a jet ski? And no, I haven't rid ridden, rode. I have not driven a jet ski before. I've had opportunities to. I just, it's never been something that appealed to me because I can't swim. So my whole thing was like, if I fall in the water, what's gonna happen? I was terrified, whatever. But if you have, that's what they describe it as. Um, except you're not in water, you're like going through the mountains, through the trees, through steep turns and stuff like that. Um, what else did I want to talk to y'all about? Oh, I wanted to talk to y'all really quickly about the like altitude sickness and stuff that I've been experiencing. Cause like not everybody experiences altitude sickness and not everybody experiences the same symptoms from altitude sickness. So just like really quickly, um, I just wanted to tell y'all like what I've been feeling cause I actually Googled it. I actually had to Google it just to make sure I wasn't like going crazy. All right, so there are a lot of symptoms, like common symptoms for altitude sickness. I'm just gonna tell you guys the ones that I've been experiencing here. And I realized it immediately with headaches. I had so many headaches driving up the mountain. You could feel the altitude change cause my ears were popping like when you're on a plane. Fatigue, nausea, loss of appetite in the morning. That's like a little bit not uncommon for me i don't normally eat in the mornings anyways or if i do with something light but here it's been amplified like i could not eat anything in the morning i had no appetite rapid breathing shortness of breath fast heart rate out of all of that y'all like when i tell you all this entire time my heart is beating like literally i go to sleep my heart's beating fast i wake up my heart is pounding like it wants to explode out of my chest the one that really caught me um was nosebleeds my nose started bleeding um, our second day here. And it, it's not like it's been running, like the blood has been running down. Here in the cold, obviously like my nose is running and dripping. I get super congested and everything. So I went to go blow my nose and it was just blood coming out. I was like, oh, that's a little weird. 
um ever since then it's like when we're inside my nose is super dry super super dry but it feels like congested at the same time and that's such an oxymoron but that's the only way i can describe it um and that's really all i wanted to tell you guys about the altitude sickness i've been pretty miserable because of it but it's okay um just in case you guys come you you know what to like be prepared for that altitude sickness medicine i showed y'all did absolutely nothing absolutely nothing um there are others that you can try as well but that specific one did absolutely nothing but with that being said it is our last night here i just cleaned up a little bit outside and i'm about to start packing because i have a lot of stuff y'all i brought three suitcases one suitcase was just full with all of our ski stuff so we're just gonna pack and just hang out for the rest of the night two hours later All right guys, so just like that, adventure time is over. We are heading back down the mountain and to the airport. We had, it was a good time. Had a blast. It was nice, it was nice to be here. It was nice to get away. Um, our first trip out of COVID and we're just so grateful and blessed. So I just wanted to come on here so we can just say goodbye to you guys and you know, until our next, <laughs> um, until our next vacation. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with a friend, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, and then this happened.